Okay team, today's video I wanted to discuss how to run a sub 17 minute 5K and that comes out to 528 per mile or three minutes and 24 seconds per kilometer. So when I was running 5Ks uh, in my prime anyways, I ran 1418 for 5K on the road. So I do understand uh, what it takes to run uh, this distance and I do know how difficult the event is. It's a highly anaerobic event so you definitely have to watch how fast you go out and especially that first mile or around that first 1.6 kilometers. The, the strategy and tip that I always use that got me the best results was I would always wait until I got to the first mile of the, the 5K and then I would make my move. You know, I would I try to just break it down into make, making the race a 2.1 mile race. And again, a sub 17 minute 5K is an extremely tough, very competitive time. Uh, a lot of runners around the world are trying to run this, this specific barrier and run 1659 or faster. And so again, it, it is important to build your endurance. Always focus on running about three to four weeks of easy aerobic base mileage before you start a training plan. And I say that because you have to first lay the foundation of your preparation before you start moving into doing specific training. Um, and it's also important to run those few weeks or up to about a month of easy aerobic base mileage because you're strengthening your ligaments and your, your tendons uh, and, your, and, the, and the muscles of the body uh, as you're running. So I think it's very important before you jump into a training plan, you know, on, on RunDreamAchieve.com, I, I have new uh, eight week and 12 week as well as 16 week training plans that are available to runners that are training for the mile all the way up to the 50K. And I think it's very critical to focus first on building your foundational mileage first where you're just running easy, relaxed miles. Uh, yeah, you can, you can throw in some strides and strides are very short, uh, anywhere from 50 to hundred meters. You can do three to four, 100 meter strides, uh, maybe once or twice per week as you're building those easy, relaxed miles. Uh, but if you want to run a sub 17 minute 5k, I think that is very important. First, you first build that base and then you start focusing on the type of training that is going to get you to 1659. Again, training at doing like mile repeats at around 508 to 515 mile pace where you're running below goal 17 sub 17 minute 5k pace is key because again you want to practice that pace more often and doing a tempo run out to you know getting your tempo runs lengthened out to around six miles will definitely help you psychologically as well because it's going to build it's going to give you a lot of motivation to know that you're doing tempo runs twice the distance of the race that you're training to compete in. And so I always used that approach too when I was running the 5K. I would always would focus on working to get my tempo run out to around six to seven miles because one, you're, you're training at that anaerobic threshold, the point where lactic acid starts to build up in your bloodstream. But the longer you can spend at that effort is key because you want to teach the body to burn fat at race pace and conserve what it has much less of, and that's carbohydrate, glycogen. We don't have a lot of glycogen storage in our bodies, but we have a, a ton of fat storage. So it's very important to run at faster paces for longer periods of time so that you rely more on what you have more of, and that's fat storage, rather than glycogen. You know, the, the time to rely on glycogen is in the last, you know, the, the last mile of, of a 5K when you're running all out and when everybody else is slowing down, you're able to maintain or pick up the pace because, again, you train your body in the proper way. If you run too many of your miles or too many of your kilometers too easy, you know, if you're running 630, 645 mile pace for 95% of your, your weekly mileage, yes, you're building a great deal of endurance, but you're not spending sufficient time running at sub 17 minute 5k pace again 528 per mile or 340 per kilometer extremely tough very very fast running so you in order to get that pace to feel easier you have to again focus on one vo2 max workout per week so you know all it's always important to you know i always talk about personal development it is important to invest in yourself know so that you know exactly what you need to be doing on a daily weekly monthly basis for a long period of time instead of just guessing what you you know what, what you want to do each day um, it's a sub 17 minute 5k goal that you have so in order to run that goal and make that a, rela a reality you have to set up your training in the proper way you have to start spending around 30 to 40 percent of your weekly volume training at or below 528 mile pace 
The big mistake a lot of runners make is they spend too much time running aerobically and not enough time training the anaerobic systems, energy systems of the body and not stressing the body enough. And so that when they get to the race, they're able to maintain pace for a portion of the race, but they slow down in the latter stages of their miles or latter stages of the kilometers of the race. And then at the end of the race, you know, they run a time they don't, they didn't want to run, or maybe they ran a time that they feel they're, they're much more capable of running and they start to second guess themselves. You know, I made that mistake too. You know, most of the stuff I talk about here on these videos, I've experienced it myself. So I always share the experiences with you. And, and the way I got over it was <clears throat> one, looking at what I was doing in training. You know, I knew the, the big parts of that, that helped me get from four, down to 1418 for 5K and 107 for the half, 219 for the marathon was, again, and I talk about in other videos, it started and it start to run faster during your long runs. But don't run every single long run every single weekend hard and fast. You can't continue to push the body hard and expect your body to adapt effectively. So the benefits, the real benefits of your hard work and your smart training are, are going to come within the rest period. So, you know, your body is about two to three times weaker immediately after you do a hard track workout or road session. So in order to run a sub 17 minute 5K, start doing, you know, do do stress the body hard and make sure you're training at paces that are much faster, you know, preferably around 505 to 515 mile pace or around 315 to 320 kilometer pace. And, but also do not ne neglect the, the days when you're recovering. Make sure you're jogging on recovery days. Now, you don't have to jog every single easy day. I mean, if you're feeling better and you're feeling recovered, you can still run somewhat faster on those easy days, but just pay attention to your recovery and your rest because the real benefit of all your hard training that you're doing on the track and on the roads is gonna come after the workout is complete. So proper hydration, paying attention to your nutrition, mental preparation, mental visualization. I, I always bring this up in all the videos that I make because a lot of athletes only focus on physical training and they neglect the, probably the most important piece of the success puzzle when it comes to running and that's mental training, mental preparation, seeing yourself doing something that you want to do prior to it becoming a reality in your life. So you have to make sure that you're doing more and doing, doing what the best middle to long distance runners do. You know, if you want to be average, just about anybody can be average. If you want to be good, it's going to take a lot more hard work. If you want to be great, it's going to demand a ton of hard work. And it's going to demand a ton out of you. So in order to be great and be the very best that you can be, you have to make sure that you're paying attention to all of the fundamentals and not just, just the physical training. You know, you do the hard workouts, you go out and you put in the miles and you put in the long runs, you do the tempo runs and the speed workouts, but then you go home and you, you eat junk food and you're, and you're staying up late and, and you're, you're stressing about things that are not, not important. And, and, and it's very important to focus only on the things that you can control. You know, if the weather conditions suck and it's race morning, guess what? Everybody else has to train in that and everybody else is going to have to race in that. So be as relaxed as you can. Make sure that you're doing the opposite of what everybody else is doing. Most people get too hyped up. They run far too aggressive too early in their 5Ks. Um, be assertive in the first mile, the first er, the early stages of the race, but don't be so aggressive that you you go into auction debt too early and you start jogging in the, in the latter stages of your race. You want to make sure that you're passing people and not getting past in the lat in the last you know, a few kilometers or the, or the last mile of that 5K. So again, if you want to run a sub-17 5K, f focus on your building your foundation first. Spend, you know, anywhere from eight weeks to 16 weeks. And I do have eight, 12, and 16-week training plans on RunDreamAchieve.com now. So definitely build three to four weeks of easy, relaxed mileage and then start building your specific training. I do a 10-day taper as well. Don't start dropping your volume and your intensity too far out from your main event. Big mistake that a lot of runners make. They start dropping intensity and dropping volume three to four weeks out from a main race and they get to the race and they feel like, hey, I started drop my, dropping all, all my training. I should feel energized. I should feel motivated, but I'm feeling instead tired and lethargic. I think a 10-day taper will help you get to your race and feel more motivated and more rested than a three-week taper will. So I hope this video on how to run a sub-17 
minute 5k gives it has been helpful for you and at least gives you some insight of some of the things that are, that are very important that you that you need to be thinking about um, and again stay positive make sure that you're not being in a rush in your training first build the foundation of mileage first start building in some strides every first you know uh, once or twice per week during that three to four week build up and then start a 8 12 or 16 week block of training whatever schedule works best for you so there's resources below all of my videos uh, I have training plans I have running courses and monthly coaching now available on rundreamchief.com so those are there for you uh, definitely uh, hit that bell icon and the subscribe button if you haven't yet and once I make new videos you'll be notified of that and if there's anything else I can help you all out with in your your training or in your racing or in your mindset or any other topic um, if there's any other topic even outside of running that you want me to make uh, and share here on rundreamachieve.com i will definitely do that so i wish you all the best and i'll talk to you in the next video